2004 BMW X5 with the 3 liter M54 motor spark plug replacement. I'm Brian Essen from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you through the steps of doing that. So we're going to get started by removing the two top engine covers. Mine, the little caps are missing. Most likely yours are going to have them, so you're going to just pop those little caps off of the flat blade screwdriver. And there's going to be four of them. And after that, you're going to remove the two uh, 10 millimeter bolts on this cover and the two nuts on this cover. Once you get the bolts out, then you're going to, this cover you'll lift up and slide towards the passenger side and pull it out. This cover here, you're going to have to remove the oil filter cap and then you're going to lift it off. Once you, while you're working on the car, I recommend you put the cap back on. So now we're going to unplug all six coils and you're just going to grab them in the corners, lift up. Next, you can use a long uh, a screwdriver or a small pry bar like this one, and you're going to put it under the corner of the coil, and you're going to pry up like that, and you're going to remove the coils. And I like to pull the coils out and kind of set them aside in order the way that I the way I took them out. Okay, to get the spark plugs out of the uh, cylinder head, you're going to need a 5/8 standard uh, spark plug socket with the 3/8 drive and about a six-inch uh, extension. And then a, uh, a standard ratchet will work. I recommend you take these all out by hand. Don't use air tools on these. If you use um, air tools, you're, you're very likely to rip the threads out of the cylinder, cylinder head and um, cause more trouble than it's worth. So I recommend taking them all out by hand. So after removing all the spark plugs, one of the things I wanted to point out that you want to look for is if you pull a spark plug out and it's oil soaked, that means that the valve cover itself is leaking oil. There's a seal that goes around each one of the spark plug tubes here that's underneath inside the valve cover and it's leaking. To properly fix it, you'll need to have you will need to remove the valve cover and change all the gaskets and seals in it. So we're gonna be installing NGKs in this BMW. I will leave a link for these uh, spark plugs in the description of the video. I also leave a link in the description of the video for all the tools that I'm using. Okay, so now we're gonna reinstall our new spark plugs. So you're just gonna put them in the uh, in your spark plug socket like this. So some people like to put anti-seize on their spark plugs, but um, BMWs, when you pull their spark plugs out, they do not come with anti-seize on the threads. And um, I'm not gonna use it on this one, so I recommend you actually put them back in dry. So I'm gonna start the spark plugs by hand and run them all the way in until these this crush washer just touches bottoms out. And then I'm gonna tighten it up maybe about a quarter turn more and you'll feel this little washer right here. You'll feel it crush down. So once you run it down to it's snug and it pretty much st stops, then you're just gonna go about a quarter turn or so more. And that's it. That's as far as you need to do the, the tighten these down. And you'll kind of feel that little washer I was talking about. You'll feel it crush down. So after installing your spark plugs and tightening them down, you can go ahead and uh, put your coils back in. So you're just gonna slide them back in and uh, you just push them straight down. So they're all gonna just be press fit. You'll just push them in until they, you feel them lock into place. Then you're gonna take the wire and you're gonna put it back on the coil. And I recommend you push really hard in towards the coil. So you're just gonna make sure the door locks down completely. Then you're gonna go ahead and reinstall all your other coils and do the same thing. You're just gonna double check. And then what I recommend you do is uh, before you put the engine covers on and start the vehicle and let it run. And if any of the cylinders are misfiring, I recommend you go back over your wires and double check. It's pretty common for these to be un slightly unplugged and um, cause misfires. So now that all of our coils are back in and plugged in, we're gonna put our engine covers back on. So you're gonna take the oil cap back off. And I recommend you put the big one on first. So you'll line up your oil cap and the two studs. And then before you put them on, I always, I always put the cap back on. That way you don't risk anything falling down inside the engine. And go ahead and tighten the two 10 millimeter bolts. Next, we'll put the uh, the smaller cover on and it has these little hooks, catches on the, on the back side here. So they're gonna hook onto this rail right here. So you'll hook them at an angle. And then once you get them on there in the right position, you'll just drop it straight down and you'll line, you'll line up the bolt holes and tighten them up. And then after that, you'll put the little covers on if yours had them. Now that all your engine covers are back on, if you were change, changing the spark plugs due to a misfire, I recommend you go into the computer and clear the codes. And um, if you were just doing for maintenance and you don't have any codes on, you may want to check the, have the codes checked anyways. Uh, they could be stored in there. 
and clear them all out. Um, and that'll complete the job of replacing the spark plugs on a 2004 BMW X5 with a 3 liter M54 motor. I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to my website at howtoautomotive.com. And also I will be leaving a link in the description of this video for all the tools and products I use. And I'd like to thank you again for watching.